Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As dedicated free to play player who played this game for more than 500 days, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Uh, Pass 3 just opened and we are having some fun even though statue will be live tomorrow we are still fighting against our enemies in this kvk we are fighting with the alliance who has mostly tier 5 players who are fighting against us and yeah generally you guys already know we don't have much uh, like more tier 5 players than them and that's been the main difference um in this fight it's pretty fun because we at least have more active and they have less but their strength and their power is overwhelming I have already taken video regarding fighting with mages, which was pretty interesting, and so far now it's time for me to try out marksmen, and we will compare which um, the unit range type, uh, free-to-play range type, won uh, against fighting with the tier 5 players in terms of merits, right? Uh, as always, my main uh, goal will be, of course, to get as much uh, yellow merits as possible, which is uh, uh, yellow numbers whenever you're gonna open the merit shop when merits report and yeah first one is Nico and Kinara actually my strongest legion which I have currently in the game because I have only one legendary hero awakened and that's Kinara right uh, I'm trying my best to get Nico to, to awaken status but yeah I think it's not that easy uh, as a free-to-play player because you don't get a lot of uh, and legendary tokens to do that uh, so far, I have even put Nico um, on my VIP dailies because uh, because I don't get I I could not get Margaret. I only have Zaida. If I have got Margaret, Margaret would be my choice to get to the VIP daily uh, tokens. But uh, whenever I will get Margaret, I will change it. But so far, my Nico is there because I'm trying to get uh, awakened Nico, and I will have at least one hero pair which will be fully awakened, which is legendary because. I have been playing this game already for 500 days, even more, and I don't have even two, even one hero pair which both heroes are awakened, which is quite pretty bad, right? Um, I will try to get as much merits as possible out of these fights because uh, we have been lacking some fights in our KVK. The only times we had some fights was uh, whenever zone two opened. Um, yeah, yeah, enemy is just flanking us so with the infantry, unfortunately, and I had to move back. No, we don't want to be fighting on the bridge, that's why we are here, uh, bridge fights are kind of awkward, uh, because if, inf if infantry will stand there and uh, it will be hard for players to move up. Uh, yeah, of course, we are lacking some infantry right now, not lacking, we, we did have a lot of infantry, but uh, enemies are actually specialized by tier 5 infantry and they have way more, right? Uh, okay, first time getting targeted as a marksman because I, I have played really cautiously. I guess this marksman player just clicked on my legion randomly and he just moved. Okay, now it's time for us to hit and uh, defeat these infantry players as soon as possible. I liked uh, my position because um, no um, artifact will be touching me, I guess, because it's quite far. And the Rattle Spear should be used kind of on infantry because it's reducing the armor of uh, the infantry players who are having way, way, way more armor than anything else. Okay, I guess we are actually focusing on infantry players. And as soon as we are going to defeat them, we will have access towards the ranged ones. And that's how generally fights are happening in Call of Dragons. I understand you might want to look at the battles uh, like this, but honestly, if you want to maximize your troop types and your fighting uh, capabilities to get more merits, zoomed out fights are way better because you can actually understand who is moving forward, what's actually happening, and if you are getting any flanks from the uh, back side or any front sides. But yeah, sometimes if you want to have some fun, you can zoom in and you can check it out. The effects of Call of Dragons skills and all the stuff, right? Here we don't have actually like too much legions. Sometimes whenever there is fights against huge uh, activity in KVK with the multiple hero, multiple uh, alliances, it's really awkward to look at the fights because there's a lot of skills being thrown. But uh, so far, I think here we can sometimes do that. Yeah, I guess our infantry is sometimes flanking them too, which is quite good. Um, uh, right now I will be soon using my Rattle Spear third time, which is great. 
And I guess this player is using host because anytime I see mm, uh, archers going front, I see host because uh, before I jumped to KVK in Season of Stripe, I said that host with Kinara will become meta again, and that's what actually happens, right? When you can see um, Archer who is moving up, you need to understand that's for sure, for sure, uh, Hero Pero is the host. Okay, I'm not sure who is targeting me. I guess some, some cavalry player wants to kill me, and he actually died, yeah. Let's just help our allies, um, alliance members and allies to defeat this infantry and yeah, yet again my only and mostly target this fight have been infantry and that this will be effective towards the merits for sure in this uh, fight with the Nico and Kinara. Yeah, this guy is pretty tanky. So yeah, finally, let's grab this uh, Hero Harbon because of the heals. And yeah, soon 42 seconds, in 41 uh, seconds I will have one more rattle sphere. I will use it on infantry to reduce the armor, right? That's the main idea behind me going Kinara um, when I actually played. Okay, is, is this infantry? Yeah, half health. Sometimes cavalry is also run towards the top side, that's why I have to be checking how these things are going, right? Um, yeah, so far nobody's having infantry here. Yeah, this one guy is just moving forward. But yeah, this is little stalemate when only range units are fighting. So let's just use this opportunity to to click on a couple of um, mages. Yeah, it's well known that marksmen are dealing the most damage uh, towards mages than anything else. Yeah, soon we will have um, a rattle spear first time already, and yeah. Yeah, that was horrible use, I guess. I had to cancel it because I was getting targeted. But yeah, the first time already, which is quite good. These are these mages just standing still. Let's try to deal some damage. And yeah, I guess like 40%, uh, 35% health is still there. So why not? Just keep rolling. As much merits we are going to get will be better for. Uh, the alliance and for myself, for my ego, I guess. Yeah. Okay, we are doing absolutely fine in these fights. Um, I guess main problem was that when uh, every single uh, tier five player was sending five tier five uh, legions, that was rough. That was the main reason why we lost. Why we actually lost uh, against these uh, guys whenever we had fights in zone two. But yeah, unfortunately, my only target in these fights have been uh, infantry. But yeah, somebody had to actually hit these infantry players because if nobody will do that, yeah, they will just stand still and enemy will push us back for sure. I'm pretty sure these two hero pairs are host. Yeah, let's check. Well, Margaret, okay, Margaret moving up, I guess. He thinks that overheal, like he will heal or she will heal everything, what he got. And yeah, one more time, let's use Rattle Spear on infantry, that's like the safest option. I guess I will use a Rattle Spear on this target. Well, I, I look at like Rattle Spear as a single target um, artifact, so it's much better for me to be just more safe in my damage, rather than being uh, like greedy. I will not try to use Rattle Spear on Infant on a Mage player, no chance. I, I'm not going to run for that, for sure. But yeah, these fights have been super fun, in my opinion. It's been great already, and I hope this will continue. And yeah, let's try to hit a couple of ranged ones until we will fly back home. Yep. Nico and Kinara is doing some work. I might get targeted in this uh, moment because I'm just too over uh, overstepping. Because yeah, it's time for for this legion to go home because like HP is almost nothing. All right, next one will be Craig and Tia, uh, one of my favorite hero pairs with Wyverns, uh, which I like it a lot. And let's see uh, with Shadow Blades. Uh, of course, my mystery skill on uh, 
Uh, my Kinara on my Nico was the Rejuvenation Blessing for HP and Legion Capacity, and on my Craig, that's like Eye of Insight. I want to get as much rage as possible because of the uh, more usage of the main skill. Uh, of course, I will speak more about um, mystery skills um, at the end of the video, what was I using, but so far I think we are doing fine, because we need to mention that we are we are having fights against tier 5 players, and that's generally how it happens. It's not easy. Okay, enemies brought more and more um, infantry players, which we, we are kind of stuck here, but these halves are kind of easy hit still. I'm not sure why this guy is using different hero, like legions, uh, unit type and different hero pair, okay? Well, one more time, again, our main target is infantry, but at least our shadow blades can be cast on multiple targets. That's already great. This guy is yet again here, one more time, let's just move back, because enemies are moving forward. We kinda have to defeat these infantry players. Without uh, that, it will be impossible. Well, with Craig, Craig also hits multiple targets, so whenever I see Legion, which is surrounded with a couple of Legions, that's the target we should be choosing, uh, in my opinion. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I'm kinda sure that these marksmen are post Legions, which are dealing high counter-attack damage, especially if they are uh, tier 5. Alright, this guy is... it's time for him to go home, oh, alright. Now it's our time to push, uh, because we have more infantry players around, and let's let's try to do that. I will try my best to not get targeted, as a marksman it's not that easy, but we kinda have to try. Uh, my position is in a, in a way that they might not get target me, but at, at, at least some artifacts will be thrown on my face, so um, I need to be cautious. Yeah, I can sometimes see the pink um, round circle, there's the enemy artifacts, like such as Phoenix Eyes, which are being thrown towards myself, and I need to be looking forward to that also. So yeah, without long range warfare, you have to watch out for many things, you don't have the highest range, and you don't, uh, you can't be FK standing and attacking normal attacks, so you kind of need to know how to fight. I'm trying to charge my Shadow Blades, want to use on this religion, and yeah, yes, 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 finally, we did damage uh, with the Archer Artifact towards multiple legions, finally. Now, this infantry player is quite strong, he's tanking for a long time already, but I think soon, soon, yeah, finally. Now we have a couple of seconds until their infantry won't be here, and we will try to move up and deal damage to backline. I'm pretty sure their backline is quite a low HP, uh, honestly, uh, because uh, they have been fighting for a long time without refill. We, we generally have been fighting only against some uh, infantry players because they have a ton of them. Uh, my heroes, hero pair's HP is uh, half only from the artifacts which they throw. So that's another indication why tier 5 players are strong, because their artifacts are 5 level. Yeah, this, this hero pair is dying pretty fast, which I don't like. And I'm not sure if we are going to get the yellow merits with Craig and Thea, especially fighting against tier 5 players. Because we had almost zero time um, hitting backline, right? We just mainly hit uh, frontline, which is infantry. Yeah, but yes, we have we can have some free hits here, here and there. With this guy, you know, it's Syndrian. We can actually hit this cavalry player, maybe to get some more merits. Okay, this Syndrian is gone, and yet again, more infantry. I will try my best to use Shadow Blades one more time, at least on these three legions. Let's just move up a little bit, and let's just use... Yep, yep, three, three legions, Shadow Blades. That's what makes me happy, man. Like, this is perfect times. Yeah, this is a power of artifacts of tier 5 players. Even though you are not getting targeted, if you are standing on a weird position, you are just getting hit by the autocast, right? So, that's how it happens. I think we still used Shadow Blades in a good race um, in this fight, and we might get more than 10k merits. I hope. I really, really hope. I want to get, of course, at least 10k on every single legion I have, 
but the goal is of course the yellow ones, right? That's what makes me happy. Alright, I'm not sure if I will be able to uh, keep this uh, hero pair alive uh, for too long, because the HP is getting low, but in terms of archers, my, my personal archers and the merits I have been getting, the lowest amount I have been getting was, was is like Sidon and Fregar because I guess I'm using Heart of Kamasi and it's more a utility defensive artifact. Um, but, well, I don't have Gold Crest. If I had it, of course, I would use it. So I, I kind of expect the lowest amount of merits on Sindron and Fregar. That's the idea I'm, I'm one, I want to share. But so far, I think we have been doing uh, totally fine. This guy is strong. We have been hitting it quite a long time. This is Hosk, but we were okay. We, we can get some more heals, which will be great. Okay, right now, if I will co be cautious, I will be using my artifact one more time, right? Yep, yep, let's try to do that and let's just focus on these two guys because I will be using artifact here, I hope. No, it's just, yeah. It's fine, I guess that's fine. We used artifact three or four times, that's totally fine in my books. <clears throat> I guess. Uh, in terms of um, the video duration, um, uh, when I did mages, um, this fight with mages, last video, uh, this one will be longer because here we have three legions. Next one is Sindrion. But I think watching gameplay of Call of Dragons is the most fun you can watch. Right? In terms of like pure uh, content, uh, like why you are progressing through the gameplay, why you are... Um, leveling up your heroes because you want to fight better and the how you can uh, show that up is that you can show the gameplay and the fights which i think is the most exciting thing to watch in terms of Call of dragons uh, so craig and thea is done and the next one is uh, syndrome and fragar and i think best thing about syndrome and fragar is my night rock this is the night rock and yeah five like five Five because I used the mystery skill, but it was one one here, one one Syndrion, and five one one two Rhaegar with Heft of Kamasi. All right, let's bring this hero pair here. Uh, it will be rough because we don't have any skill damage factor here. We are depending on normal attacks and crits, and uh, with this setup against tier five infantry, it will be rough. Which means. I will be doing some risky moves with this hero pair to get some more merits um, because if I will just stand still and hit um, uh, infantry players with this setup it will be really really rough. I will 100% get less than 10k merits which I don't want. But well, what, what I can do here right? I can at least hit the targets which are low health to help out my alliance members and I guess my Heart of Kamasi will be helpful also. Uh, with the alliance members. This next target is this one. We can move back because they are moving up. And yeah, unfortunately, we don't have any any more targets while I'm other than infantry uh, in these fights, and we have been doing pretty fine uh, against tier five infantry, in my opinion. All right. One more infantry legion is down. And yeah. Okay. Second one is down. Yeah, I'm not expecting a lot of merits from this legion. Um, I mean, it's, this legion is like kind of buffer towards my um, other two marksmen, uh, which are getting way more merits out of fights generally. Um, yeah. But in this fight, I can't use all of my legions at the same time because we are inside the statue. And uh, one legion per player is only allowed, so that's the main reason. Yeah. More infantry is coming towards us from the top side. Yeah. We don't have a free time. Yeah, I, I think I will just follow up with my infantry here. But they are just getting depleted, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, I guess in terms of health, when I only hit um, infantry players and counter-attack damage is quite a lot, I'm doing fine, kinda. But yeah, these infantry players are full health, which kinda sucks. Yeah, this will be rough. 
fighting with this legion against these enemies will be rough. I need to take some risks. I need to try to hit other hero pairs rather than only infantry because it will be rough. Okay, I guess I have some targets here, finally. Not only infantry is allowed. And of course I will use this time. I will risk with this dice distance to hit some mages on the back. And finally we have some infantry uh, coming towards um, ourselves and this guy has been alive for quite a lot of time. <laughs> What's going on? Is he gone? Yeah, finally. Finally he is gone. I did, I did took some, some risks, even though I didn't get targeted, I'm pretty sure that of uh, artifacts were thrown towards my face and yeah, that's why this legion did not last long, <laughs> unfortunately, but that's fine. But it's already soon when we're gonna check our report and uh, yeah, we will understand how each hero pair actually performed. It's alive for a couple of seconds more. Let's just try to keep beating the archers. Maybe if I will get 10k merits from this legion, I will be super surprised. Honestly, I will be super, super surprised if we're gonna get 10k merits from this legion. Okay, let's take a couple of risks. And yeah, let's try to check the hospital only in terms of marksmen. Uh, way more uh, if we're gonna compare it to the mages, which we did last video, but. Uh, it's not a lot, we are fighting against tier 5s, it's not a lot, which I, I love, um, like 259k hospital bill with 3 legions, uh, we fought like 25 minutes, I guess, somewhere in the middle of that, I think it's acceptable, it's great, we are not having same range as mages anymore, and yeah, let's check how we did in terms of um, merits, yeah, as I said, um, Sindron and Freygar did this, unfortunately, um, not even 10k, which was kinda expected, but yellow merits on uh, Craig and Thea with Wyvern and my best legion, uh, Nico and Kinara, yellow merits, guys. This is merits from, from like, tier 5 player, against tier 5 players, which is amazing. Every single infantry player which we are hitting, especially on marksmen, were infantry. So, what we can conclude, even the free to play player like me, 100%, can get merits in this game. I have been fighting only against tier 5s, and we only had, it was our second fight. So, yeah, I think marksmen are fine, even without long range warfare. So, if you guys enjoyed uh, this video, press like, subscribe, share, it always gives me more and more uh, motivation to make more videos for this amazing game. Um, I wish everybody an amazing day, morning and night. We are going to see each other really, really soon. Bye-bye uh, and good luck.